Hello guys and welcome to another video. In today's tutorial I'll teach you how I made these team slides that look like Instagram using PowerPoint. And I'll start inserting a rectangle just like this and I'm gonna get rid of the outline and I'm gonna change the color to a light gray. Then I'm gonna go to insert text box and I'm gonna write the words, our team. I will be using the Instagram logo font, which I found on Google, is this link right here. So you just have to click it and then go to this area and click on this button right here. And after you install it, you'll be able to use it right here. So I'm just gonna increase the size and I'm gonna move it to the top left corner. Now let's insert a circle holding shift on your keyboard so you get a perfect circle. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just to see what we're doing. And for this one, I'm just gonna get rid of the outline and change the color to a light gray. Now let's duplicate it with Ctrl D and let's get rid of the fill and just add an outline. So I'm just gonna pick a color right here that I had already pretty fine. Make sure that it's centered with the other um, circle that we did. And we can play around with the weight of the outline. And for this case, I think this one's too thick. So I'm going to change it to two and a half points. And then right click format shape, go to line and select gradient line. And let's select um, a different gradient. So something like this one. And here I'll just tweak the handles right here to make it look like the gradient that shows up when someone has posted a story on Instagram. And I had already predefined the colors. And if you want to know how I got them, I'll just link the video in the description on how to get colors from images or from logos and how to make them show up on your recent colors. It's very easy. Now I'm just going to change the direction of the gradient to make it look as real as possible. You might need to tweak a little bit more the handles, but it's super easy to do. Now let's go to insert text box and here I'm just going to write the first name of the first team member and I'll just make sure that the text is centered and I'll just put it here under those circles that we did. For these texts, I'm going to use the font Segoi UI Semi Bold. And then I'll select those circles with the text, right click group, and let's group them. Now, holding Ctrl and Shift on your keyboard, you're going to drag it to the right so we can duplicate it four more times. That way, it will be easier to replace the content later on. And then we're going to select all of them, go to Align and Distribute Horizontally so they're evenly spaced out. Now, to replace the text, you just have to click directly on the text. Otherwise, you would be selecting just the group. And that way, you can easily change the names of your teammates. So here, I'm just going to use this ones as an example. And this is a good opportunity to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Now I'll just open my regular browser. I use Chrome and I'm just going to take a screenshot of this area right here from my Instagram profile. You just need to be signed in on your account. And on Windows, I'm using the snipping tool. So then you're just going to right click and copy it and then right click and paste it. And that's how we get this menu on the left hand side of the slide. Now let's go to insert and select the rectangle shape. And here I'll just put it on top of everything. Then let's go to the format shape panel. If you don't have it, right click format shape and let's select no line and change the color of the field to white. Then go to the shape effects panel and select a shadow here. So let's increase the blur a little bit. And now we're going to start adding our details for the design of the post. So we obviously need the Instagram handle, which I'll put right here at the top. 
and they're always on lowercase so I'll just get rid of the capital letter at the beginning and then I'll just insert a circle which is where the profile picture will go and here again let's get rid of the outline and I'm just going to change the color but you don't have to do that because we are going to replace it with an image anyway and I'm obviously obsessed with alignment so I'm just going to align it to center so it's perfectly aligned now let's insert another rectangle and this is where our main picture will go so I'm just going to make it take this whole space right here again select no outline and I'm just going to change the color so I know it's an image placeholder now holding shift select those three elements and right click group and I'll just rotate it slightly and move it down to this area and now it's time to start adding our images so I'll just copy an image online so right click copy image and now you'll need two clicks the first one to select the group and the second one to select the placeholder and on the fill options I'll select picture or texture fill from clipboard but if you already have an image on your desktop you can just select insert instead so again right click copy image and then one click to select the group a second click to select the placeholder and just insert it from clipboard or from insert to select your own image and for this image which is the first one that I'll feature I'll just add it to this placeholder as well and you can use the crop option here if you want to reposition your image and again I'll just add it to this last placeholder that we have here using the exact same method and now it's just a matter of filling out the details of this person so here I'll just add the name, the age, um, the title or role and I'll also add a description right here we'll use the exact same layout for all of our team members and once you're happy with it let's just duplicate the slide with Control D and now we just have to replace the content and it's very easy to do because we just have to add the new name and replace the images again so you just have to select that image go to the fill option and again select picture texture fill from clipboard or from insert to select your own image from your own files and once you're done with all of them let's go back to the first slide again one click to select the group and another one to select the image then go to actions hyperlink and here I'll select slide and select the first slide and then click OK then let's move on to the second one again with two clicks and for this one we're going to hyperlink it to the second slide click OK and we'll repeat the process for the remaining pictures so the third one will be linked to the third slide the fourth one to the fourth and the fifth one to the fifth and when you're done you just have to select all of them copy with ctrl c we'll go to a second slide delete all of these and then paste it with ctrl v and we'll repeat the exact same process with the remaining slides so we have an interactive menu on every single slide that we can click to move to a different person and finally let's select all of the slides go to transitions and click on fade and that's it guys that's how I created this awesome team slide using PowerPoint let me know what did you guys think in the comments and if you'll be using it in your presentations don't forget that I have all of my free templates available on lurutiappt.com and make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at lurutiappt. As always, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your support and I will see you on my next video.